my beautiful Leos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Walker. Um, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all the beautiful comments. Um, guys, this is going to be for April 2019. This is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. The name of the spread is Love Coming Towards You. Okay. So let's jump right in. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. If you don't know it, you know, check out the link below. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading with me, because obviously these are general readings, they're not going to resonate with everyone. You'll have to go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the link below. By the way, I have an announcement to make. I will be going live on the 18th. If you guys want to see my crazy ass, um, you will have to come see me and check me out. 8 PM Eastern standard time on the 18th. I'm going to be trying to do it for five days a week. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, let's jump right in. I'm going to lay down all the cards and we're going to get started. All right, Leo, what's going on with your current romantic love life for April 2019? Show me the card you need to see. Show me the card you need to see. All right, so we got that. I see your energy popped out. Um, What's their blockage, please? What's their blockage to the romantic love life? What's their blockage? <gasps> Not the whole deck. Jesus. Okay. One card there. What's their strength to the romantic love life for April 2018? What's their strength? Thank you. Um, what is something from their past has affected their current love state? Thank you. Um, who's coming towards Leo, Sun, and Rising, Venus sign? They would be interested in romantically for April 2018. Okay. And what's something about this person coming towards Leo that they don't know that they need to know? Okay. What is immediately going to happen with Leo, Summon Arise, Venus sign for the romantic love life for April 2018 that it cannot change? It will happen. Okay. Uh, what's their advice for their romantic love life? Um, what is their hopes and fears for their romantic love life for April 2018? Okay. And what's the potential outcome here? I'll throw another card on that. Hmm. One more card on that. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. So you got the Knight of Rods for your current position. Okay, hopefully the glare is gone. I did change my camera positioning here. We have the Knight of Rods, uh, which is some kind of movement when it comes to passion. Obviously, this is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So potentially something to do with um, passion. Maybe somebody's being a player here with the uh, Knight of Wands. And what is the blockage to your romantic love life here? The blockage is, okay, great, it's focusing now. Sorry about the glare, apologize. Ten of Swords, so what is the Ten of Swords? It's something to do with some kind of uh, ending here. So some kind of pain, some kind of backstabbing going on here. And this is kind of blocking things for you in your romantic love life, This whatever this is, whoever, backstab you or whatever happened with this 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 person's coming out of it you or this person's coming out of it what is the strength here now interesting enough the strength is the devil card and what does the devil card represent it represents bondage addiction and depression so spirit is saying that you don't want to get caught up in this unhealthiness this is your strength here don't get caught up in this uh this energy of depression, because obviously your blockage is the Ten of Swords. You were dealing with some kind of ending here and some kind of pain and some kind of backstabbing from someone here. So your strength is, is not to be involved in this whole depression, uh, you know, unhealthy kind of behavior here. What is something from the past that has affected your current love state? It's something to do with the, the Hierophant mm -hmm. card here. And what is the Hierophant card here? It is um, something to do with tradition with marriage and long-term commitment. So in the past, you were dealing with someone who uh, was involved with you with a long-term commitment basis or something surrounding uh, tradition. Um, however, obviously moving forward, there is a player kind of energy going on here with the Nine of Rods because someone was hurt here, okay? And who is the person coming towards you? This is the High Priestess. Let's see if I can focus this. The camera just wants to do its thing today. All right, focus. Okay, there we go. Nope, nope. All right, there we go. Oh my God, look at that. You can see she's half naked in there. Um, <laughs> 
she is very natural looking, isn't she? <laughs> yes, that's the High Priestess card there. Um, the person coming towards you is using their intuition or there's something to do with secrets here. Okay. Um, so let me get some clarity on what's going on here, okay? Before we move any further. Why is the Knight of Rods here? Why is the Knight of Rods here? Why is the Knight of Rods here? So uh, there's some kind of communication when it comes to... Um, messages or movement when it comes to passion so definitely some kind of communication surrounding something to do with someone making someone happy uh and definitely dealing with you leo because the sun came out so you're communicating with someone about some kind of passionate thing here because we got the birds we got the birds and the bees apparently because this is something to do with passion so we got the birds which represents some kind of communication and it's something to do with the sun so there you go in the current position um why is the ten of swords here for the blockage why is the ten of swords here for the blockage why is the ten of swords here for the blockage mm. someone is hurt because someone was doing something sly here with the the fox card okay that's what the fox card represents someone being slick and sly as you can see if you look at the devil card here that fox is right there right in the devil card oh my god focus please Okay, thank you. The fox is right there in the in the devil card. So obviously it is something that's not quite right. You got a snake and you got a fox in there, right? So I want to kind of find out why spirit saying that's your strength. Why is the strength the devil card for Leo? Why is the strength the devil card here? Okay, uh, because it's something to do with uh, someone that you love or something to do with something that you love. Uh, the heart card came out. And some kind of message. Obviously, we did see some kind of communication here, right? Some kind of message here. So the strength is uh, that, okay, so it may, you may have some kind of depression and stuff like that. And uh, don't worry because your strength is don't fall into that because you're going to get some messages and some communication from somebody that you love, okay? With that, um, and it could be a text message. It could be... Um, you know, a phone call, so forth, so on. Obviously, we saw a lot of communication, so you're going to get some kind of communication. So why is the high priestess here for the person coming toward you? That's curious. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Well, apparently, that's the person that's coming towards you, is the one that you love, the heart card. And the message card came out again. Okay, so the strength being, yes, you are depressed about the situation, but... This person is coming towards you. This person is coming towards you. They're using their intuition. Uh, and also, let's see, why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles here for something that you need to know about this person that you don't know. Um, normally, I would say this card would be a, not an equal give and take, but there's only one person there that the person is giving to. So it looks like this person does want to give you an equal give and take, actually, the Six of Pentacles. So it looks like something was going on here. Someone did some backstabbing energy. Someone was being a player here. Um, possibly so. Uh, and then what's going to immediately happen in your immediate future that you cannot change that will happen? We got the 10 of rods here. The 10 of rods here says that there's going to be some kind of ending of a burden here for you. Okay, and that's good. So why is the 10 of rods here? Why is the 10 of rods here? Why is the 10 of rods here? because of this message actually because of this message it's going to end some burden for you okay and why is the advice the ten of pentacles so the advice is actually the ten of pentacles which represents family long-term commitment and finance so spirit is saying you know go with the ten of pentacles this is your advice okay so why is the ten of pentacles here for the advice why is the ten of pentacles here for the advice Uh, this represents family, obviously. Uh, so your advice is something to do with family or something that you have been involved with for a long time. Obviously, in your past, you were dealing with something with the um, the Hierophant, which represents marriage and long-term commitment. So obviously, something happened between you guys. Um, and Spirit's advice is to go towards the person that you've been with for a long time. Because of this knowledge or this message that's coming through, 
this is kind of ending some kind of burden that's happening here. Okay, so let's kind of see what's going on here. Um, what is your hope and wish here? You don't want to have any heartache. Uh, three of Swords. Okay. And what's the outcome here? So it looks to me like someone decided, the Queen of Swords, someone decided to be patient and make, um, you know, uh, a communication towards you saying that they want it to work together, teamwork, work together, three of pentacles. Um, maybe this was the person who walked away or maybe you walked away from them, eight of uh, cups or something was involved here where someone got hurt and, um, but whatever happened, it's going to resolve um, coming forward because um, it looks like there's going to be a decision and there's going to be an ending of this burden. So let me just get some clarity on this. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Something to do with a person and someone being sly and luck. Okay, one more card here. Some kind of movement. So it's telling me here, if I just look at this overall here, that... Uh, whatever happened here in the past that caused this 10 of swords energy there's going to be an ending to it even coming forward someone decided to cut someone out here uh even when i look at your hopes and fears like uh your hopes and uh, you know wishes in the situation i see that there's two people left standing and one person is gone and even what the advice spirit is saying go with the person that you had this established relationship with something pertaining to family long-term commitment right and even in the potential outcome, I see that this person, you or this person decided to cut something out pertaining to a third party and the other person has walked away. And now there's some kind of luck and some kind of movement here in this. Okay. So let me get some more advice for you before I end this out. Give me some more advice for Leo, Summon, or Rising Venus sign for the romantic love life. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So we have the passion card. So definitely your advice is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Obviously, I, I when I clarified that you're going to get some messages from this person, this person now wants to give an equal give and take, apparently, with the six of pentacles only going to one person. Um, and it looks like this other person, either you or this other person had to decide uh, from what happened here of this, uh, this ending, someone had to get over something because of something to do with someone possibly being a player here. Uh, but it looks like it's all going to work out, um, going forward in April. So guys comment below, let me know what's going on here with the situation. Um, if this has resonated with you at all, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or checking out the link below. I know I speeding up right now, aren't I? <laughs> Caffeine, baby. Caffeine. Mm. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Um, I send you my blessings, and I hope you have a great April. And if you want to check out some of the other spreads, just go to my playlist. Um, I have a few other spreads you can check out. So, I, guys, I love you so much. I hope I see you um, when I go live on the 18th on Monday. All right. Love you so much. Have a great April.